again guys <clears throat> a little different this time uh, first off let me point out this I remounted the shield so it leans back uh, I had to drill and tap a hole farther up in the bar and screw it down there turns around because it was mounted back here and pointed up that way and that pushed the saw up so turned it around dropped it down <clears throat> lets the saw ride a little lower get a little bit more of the bar down below in the cut area so uh, it is what it is but that's not what we're doing today or not what we're actually talking about today today we're talking about different grinds on chains so these are all rip chains that I've made up this first one that's on the blade on the bar now is a full complement of teeth I'm going to show you close-ups of each one before I actually uh, make the cut so you can see what I'm talking about on each one of them but this one is a full complement all ground to 10 degrees and there's one that's done in sets of five uh, sets of three and sets of four uh, and I'll kind of explain those as I uh, come to them but uh, for the time being we're going to try cut with this uh, I'm going to time a section of it I'll put some marks on the on the log and uh, use the uh, one of the cameras to time how long it takes to get between those two points but since this is uh, you know it's not going to be cutting here and it's not me cutting down there and then the next slice is going to be cutting there so I can't really time them fairly unless I use a section that's all solid so we're going to do that but I'm less concerned about that I want to see how smooth they cut which is actually what the rip chain is supposed to do it'll cut about the same speed as a as a, a 30 degree grind but it should leave a much smoother surface and for comparison the surface of this was cut with the regular chain so I should have a, a good way to compare it to the next cut right so anyway uh, let me get a little bit of uh, setting up done and we'll make the first cut okay so this is going to be the first chain and it's a full set of teeth. Every tooth is a full tooth. And all of them are filed uh, to 10 degrees. And by the way, I did all the filing with one of these guys. So uh, they should be accurate to 10 degrees. But uh, anyway, <clears throat> so now that you know that, that's the first chain. Let's make the first cut. Okay, so next up is one that I've ground where I've taken 
uh, four cutters off and left a space with no cutters. And then it's got two of the raker teeth or whatever you want to call them. Uh, they're only half the width of the blade, scoring teeth, if you will. And then it's got three full cutters behind it. And then another four missing. And then two rakers, three full cutters, etc. All the way around the chain. Uh, it worked out that was an even number for this particular chain. So that's what we're going to go with. Let's see what it does. Gives lots of uh, room for ejection. So hopefully it does well. Well, that sucked. Right at the end of that cut, caught the damn sawhorse uh, bracket with the chip of the chain. Oh well. Only had to make one cut with that anyway, right? <laughs> I think I'll be sharpening that one. Wow. Can't win them all. Okay, so unfortunately this is going to be the last one. I was going to do four and turns out one of the chains I grabbed was uh, uh, a 70 drive length instead of 72 so it doesn't fit my bar on this saw and I'm not going to drag out another saw so anyway uh, but this one was actually the first one I did it's two full teeth and then cut a link uh, cut a tooth off two full teeth cut a tooth off uh, all the way around uh, it had uh, 36 teeth to start so it's an even number of sets and then uh, the other reason that I'm not going to do a third or the fourth cut is because there's not much left. I'm having to support the back of the uh, uh, rail system with uh, some little boards. So anyway, we'll make this one and then uh, we'll see how that goes. All right, here we go.
just made this cut and apparently forgot to turn that camera on, which is the one that's set farther away so you can see the whole thing. Uh, I did get the close-up of the two-foot section, but uh, so you saw that just now. Anyway, uh, I'm going to lay these all out together so we can kind of compare the, uh, the saw curve and see how much it chewed up the wood. So give me a sec. Okay, so this was the regular chain from the last video, and they cut from it. And then, of course, the flip side of it is the the full set of teeth at set at 10 degrees. And um, I don't know. I guess it's a little bit smoother, but not a whole lot of difference to me. And then the next one is the four skip five teeth. And this one gets a bit more fuzz and is a bit more inconsistent. So that full set of teeth actually comes out a little smoother. I mean, they get a little bit of fuzz on it, but this one's a lot more fuzz on it. And then the last one, which was the uh, one skip, two teeth, and then one skip again. Uh, again, a little bit of fuzz. I think it's actually the smoothest one uh, overall. Yeah, so the other sides of these, and this one, of course, is the other side of it is the mark. Uh, that is the other side of the full 10 degrees. And then, or wait a minute. No, that's the other side of the, yeah, that's the other side of the one skip. So there's that. It doesn't look that smooth to me. Then again, I'm used to my bandsaw, which leaves things pretty damn smooth. My bandsaw mill. And then that is the other side of the four skip. They're pretty much the same. And then the last one is the other side of the full 10 degrees. So judge for yourselves, guys. I encourage anyone who has watched this to kind of experiment uh, or take off with the results from here. To me, it looks like the full set of teeth with 10 degrees is about the smoothest one. Now that, or the, the one where I cut out one tooth and left two teeth and went all the way around the chain that way. Uh, not real impressed with the one that skips a bunch. Uh, maybe it would have been better if it had... Uh, just two teeth and skips four. I don't know. Uh, again, something to, to uh, experiment with. Uh, the other chain, the one that I didn't get to try, uh, I had done... Go over here and grab it. Wait a minute, where is it? Yeah, this was it. I had done sets of four uh, with a single skip. So it had two of the little cutters and then two full size cutters and it skipped one tooth and then it went back into the same pattern. So we'll never know on it, but that's pretty close to what Granberg does. They just don't skip a tooth. They just go uh, two of the uh, uh, scoring teeth and then two full teeth. But yeah, so like I said, uh, do some experiment and find out what you can make uh, smoother. And if you do, uh, do that post a video about it because i'll probably find it and watch it i've been watching a lot of milling chain videos um i got to su hurt su searching around for milling chain videos and there's lots of guys showing the chains but they don't show what they do so this one i'm going to show you what it did there you go all right guys well uh, i guess i'll see you next time thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe we're, we're hunting for that 20,000. I'm going to try and give away a chainsaw. But we got to hit 20,000 subscribers first. All right? Be good.